Chapter 7, Part 2, The Relative Stabilities of Alkenes. The main factor to consider when comparing the stability of alkenes is the number of substituents on the sp2 carbons. The more substituted an alkene is, the more stable it will be. So an alkene with four substituents is going to be more stable than an alkene with three substituents. Another way to look at that is that that alkene has one hydrogen. Um, alkenes with two substituents are less stable than three substituents. And typically, a trans alkene is going to be more stable than a cis alkene. And then we have our one substituent alkene and our zero substituent alkene. So the greater number of substituents on the alkene is going to stabilize the alkene um, because of the hyperconjugation that happens between the alkyl groups and the pi bonds of the alkene. So the alkene is able to share electron density and also gain electron density through um, semi-orbital overlap with the neighboring uh, hybridized p orbitals. Now, when it comes to our cycloalkenes, typically it's safe to assume that its cycloalkene is going to be cis. Um, that's just because, you know, take a look at cyclopropene. If this were a transalkene, it would somehow have to connect back over this way. That's completely improbable. Um, there's no way that that could work. And for most of our normal sized cycloalkenes, cis is really the only possibility because of that. As you get into your larger cycloalkenes, um, you can start to see trans cycloalkenes, but for most of these, you're actually going to see even greater ring strain. So there is quite a lot of ring strain in a cis cyclooctene, and the larger it gets, the greater the strain is as you are spreading these bonds out more and more. Um, some of the much larger molecules might actually prefer to have a couple um, trans alkenes thrown in there. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty safe to assume that your cycloalkenes that you're dealing with, especially since we're going to focus largely on pentene and hexene sized things, um, they're typically cysts.